Dustin Poirier is the quintessential fighter's journeyman, taking on and defeating some of the most successful fighters in UFC history. But also taking his lumps too. In fact, he's had more ups and downs in his career than my crypto portfolio. Because I put a shit ton of money in Terra Luna. But what makes him the fighter he is? And why hasn't he been able to win a championship belt? Is it because he's not a good enough fighter or is luck not on his side? I'm Nick the Ear. You're watching in the red corner. And today we're gonna get into the diamond Dustin Poirier. This is Woof. Dustin Poirier was born on January 19th, 1989 in Lafayette, Louisiana. And let's just say he had a fondness for fighting. He loved to fight. My father was a fighter. My grandfather was a fighter. It's just in my blood. It's so red, huh? Yeah. I, I ripped he ended up off. getting kicked out of high school at age 15 because he was getting into too many fights. So he started working construction and partying like Channing Tatum in my favorite movie, Magic Mike. But it wasn't until he met Tim Crater at his local gym that his life changed forever. Then I put my gloves on and me and Dustin did a couple rounds. And I went in the bathroom and I spit my mouthpiece out and a bunch of blood came out of my mouth. And I was fighting the UFC at the time. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, this kid's going to be a f***ing world champion. And not to be a hater, Tim, but he still technically isn't a world champion. And that's what we're here to talk about today. Poirier began his professional MMA career in 2009 after coming out of the fighting cauldron that was the WEC, which was eventually acquired by the UFC. I'd like to call it giving me a present. Man. And that present was Josh Grisby coming off a 10 fight win streak. His debut went the distance with Poirier winning by decision. And that is a pretty good indication of the types of fights we would all come to expect from Poirier. Dogged and brutal. Let's take a look. And then Pablo Garza with the Darce choke. Oh, this is not good for Brookings. This is uppercuts, hooks. That big uppercut there for Poirier. Oh, Corazani's in a world of pain here. This one might be done. Another finish! After that, he rose through the ranks of the UFC. And in no time at all, just a short nine years and 20 fights later, where he defeated the likes of striker extraordinaire Anthony Pettis, fan favorite Justin Gaethje, former lightweight champ Eddie Alvarez, and then the Twitch streamer Max Holloway. No shot, bro. He just completed a streak laying down some of the greatest fighters in the game. It was finally his time. He got the call. There he is. Only one kick. I don't see him losing. This is a big deal. 27-0, 11-0 in the UFC. Khabib, like I said, I come in there and I smash. Dusty's a guy, like there's something special about him. The best guys in the world, you know. Khabib and Dusty. Being beaten by anybody. Khabib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Dangerous, he's undefeated. Khabib Nurmagomedov. Malls people. He's where fighters learn of their own mortality. It's time! And so now we have come to our main event. Dustin shot at finally completing Tim Crater's prophecy. I said this kid's gonna be a fing world champion. It's time! And here we go! Round one. Habib does what Habib does. He presses forward, puts Poirier against the cage, and takes him down with a single leg. Dustin Poirier, couple hooks in. Things on your hands, beats you up. In typical Nurmagomedov fashion, he controls the rest of the round, and he with full mount and a flurry of elbow. Habib! Poirier forced to squirm out. Nurmagomedov at his mauling back. Yeah, I want to explode more, but... Yeah. He's looking for submissions, waiting for me to explode. He's oh, like, it's okay, but on the feet, we can be a little more offensive now. Poirier threw just six. Significant strike attack. Round two. Habib gets touched early with a big right hand from Dustin. But then Habib secures another takedown and controls Dustin against the cage for the rest of the round, bloodying him in the process. Dustin Poirier's offense through 10 minutes. What are we here to do? To win. Undisputed, right? Yes, sir. All right. I need effort. Round three. Dustin knows he's down two rounds and he has to make some moves. So when Habib shoots with a double leg, Dustin sees an opportunity. He tunes in, but it's not super tight. Now it's in. Dustin Poirier working on a guillotine here. Tune to keep it, and that's in. That's in tight. You think if you went to full guard, you would have got it? Hindsight, Joe. Oh. Hindsight. Is that the moment of the fight? The with you? Oh, I, I just know how close it was. 
There's no shame in losing to the best fighter of all time. Habib is the most dominant and decorated lightweight champion ever in the game, and when it came to his bout with Poirier, it was no different. Look, Habib mopped the floor with everyone. Just send me location. Every single fighter he came up against at a professional level. And Dustin was arguably the closest to taking Habib down. So he lost his first shot at the belt. But he wasn't done there. He was back to climbing up the ranks where he fought and beat a couple of UFC schmucks you probably never heard of. Michael Chandler, Conor McGregor, Dan Hooker, Conor McGregor again. Tell us what you thought was going on. Your wife is in me DMs, hey baby. And after that super easy run of fights, he got a second chance at the belt and all he had to do was overcome this guy. He's so good. He's got the most submissions in the history of the sport. He'll stand and bang with you, try to ground. When that mother gets a hold of you, you're in deep danger. Pop superstar, TikTok dance icon, the one, the only, Charles, why did he dye his hair blonde, Oliveira. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. It was a back and forth fight. I personally thought Dustin won the first round. In fact, he almost KO'd Oliveira, but then it happened. The elephant in the room, the defining moment of this fight, the infamous glove. I'll do it myself. No, not that glove. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Neither one of those gloves. This glove. He's holding on to the glove in an illegal way. Yeah. See the way he's pulling the glove like that? Oh man. Oh, my <laughs> Would Dustin have won the round? Would he have won the actual fight? Would Neil Armstrong have actually landed on the moon instead of faking it in a studio with Stanley Kubrick? What Scrap the f are you asking me right now? Here it is. We can't say. But what we do know is that it led to Charles Oliveira having four minutes of top control and punching Dustin in the face a bunch of times. So that's not good. Then, when the guy who has the most submissions in UFC history takes your back 30 seconds into the following round, this happens. It's under the neck. It's under the neck. It's under the neck. Oh, no. <laughs> and then this happens. Poirier has always been a bridesmaid and never a bride. In fact, maybe we could just add him to the list of accomplished athletes who never won a championship. Charles Barkley, Barry Bonds, Dan Marino, Carl Malone, Barry Sanders, and Justin Guarini. Kelly Clarkson. And those are the two championship fights Dustin lost. I mean, two and a half before counting his recent loss. But we're not gonna really count that. Making him the best fighter to never win a belt. I mean, when it comes down to it, you gotta ask the question. Is Poye bad at defending the rear naked choke? Is it too much pressure for him to handle? Or does this prove how difficult it is to win at the highest level? UFC middleweight champion. Dave the Warrior Manet was a talented grappler, the first ever UFC middleweight champion, and one of the worst champions in UFC history. Dave Manet? Who the f is that? Yeah, he was my high school principal. No, he's a UFC fighter. He has a belt. When? Look, if I'm being honest, I think these two fights aren't truly representative of Dustin as a fighter. He's the dark horse of the division. He could actually go the distance, and he just needs to find the right matchups at the right time. It's a tough road back to the title, but if anyone has the skill set to do it, it's Dustin. If there was one word to describe him, it would be relentless. And that's what you need in the sport. Styles make fights, and Poirier can do it all. He can brawl with the brawlers, he can roll with the grapplers, and he can make a hot sauce that will put Sriracha out of business. These losses are just stops along the way to Championship Town USA, population, the diamond. All right, that's all the time we've got for today. Let us know if you think Dustin will be the next champion. Like this video if this makes you want to dance. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all our newest videos. This has been In the Red Corner. I'm Nick the Ear, and you're watching. Oof.